With alarming speed, the cars collide. One after another, they crash. At this point, on the bottom right, you can see Dan Weldon's car being forced up into the air. Moments later, it hits the fence. The race was red flagged. Drivers were in tears as they realized what had happened. Weldon was airlifted to hospital, his wife and two young sons by his side. Colleagues were left to wait anxiously for news. It was like a movie scene. It was, you know, which they try and make look as, as gnarly as possible. And it was debris everywhere across the whole track. There was, you could smell the smoke. You could see the billowing smoke on the back straight from a car. There was, there was a chunk of fire that we were driving around out there. And then you just see cars scattered and it was, you know, I mean, I hope, I hope everyone's okay. Eventually though, the news they were dreading. IndyCar is very sad to announce that Dan Weldon has passed away from unsurvivable injury. Our, our thoughts and prayers are with his family today. I lost uh, one of my best friends, one of my greatest teammates, and uh, I don't know what to say. We're, we're all going to miss him. A, li a little bit of everybody in IndyCar racing died today. The race in Las Vegas was the last in the season. In practice, drivers had raised concerns about such a large number of cars driving on the relatively small circuit. I said before we tested here, I haven't driven a, a stock car here, this is not a suitable track and we've seen it today. It's just, there's no, you can't get away from anybody. There's no way to differentiate yourself, either a car or a driver. You're just stuck there and people get frustrated and go four wide and, and you saw what happened. Dan Weldon was the reigning Indianapolis 500 champion. These the triumphant scenes from May, the 33-year-old from Milton Keynes celebrating with his wife Susie. On Saturday, the day before he died, Weldon spoke of his excitement about the future. It's truly been a, a great year. Obviously, the Indianapolis 500 is, is what every IndyCar driver wants to win. And, you know, I was able to win that event, which is fantastic. But like you say, this year has kind of really broadened the scope of my career. So, you know, I'm very proud of that. I definitely want to be back in a race car full time in 2012. But it all ended here. The race was abandoned. Instead, a five lap salute on one of the sport's darkest days. Becky Johnson, Sky News.